What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring us a quick in-depth review of the Hyperjuice 2 from Sanho. So of course without further ado, let's check out this battery, see it's so special about it, and give you guys my full in-depth review. Hyperjuice 2 is one of the first mass-produced external batteries available for the MacBook Pro where you can actually recharge your MacBook without having to plug it in an outlet. I've reviewed many different external batteries for the iPhone as well as the iPad, but there wasn't really anything available for the MacBook that seems to be affordable or at least conceivable in terms of uh, usage and functionality. The Hyperjuice 2 introduced by Sanho is a 100 watt hour capacity battery which in theory is more than capable enough to recharge or give a full charge for a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro since that uh, computer only has a 95 watt hour battery. The reason I say in theory is most of the time we're probably going to be using this device as emergency backup purposes. So for example, if your MacBook is sitting at 15%, you're going to plug this thing in. But also keep in mind, it's not just recharging your battery, it's also using, or your laptop's also using the battery at the same time. So in that type of case, it's probably not going to give you a full charge, but rather we can look at it as giving you a few extra hours of usage on your MacBook. The company does claim that the battery will give you an additional 26 hours of additional uh, battery life on your computer. Now keep in mind that really depends on the model as well. For example, a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro is going to use a lot more power than an 11 inch MacBook Air, plus the 11 inch MacBook Air has a smaller battery. So it really varies between models, but also it varies between usage. If you're running a lot of programs or playing uh, games, then obviously it's going to drain the battery more than saying just surfing the internet. In terms of what you get, the original package comes with the battery itself, a manual, an airline adapter, as well as a charging uh, cable to obviously recharge the battery itself. And lastly, Sanho does have a MagSafe connector to connect the battery to your MacBook. Um, this piece here is actually the original Apple uh, MagSafe charging cable, which is cut up and uh, installed onto this, what they dub as their magic box, to work with the battery here. Unfortunately, this is actually uh, separate from the battery, so you do have to pay extra in order to make the battery work with your MacBook, which is a little bit unfortunate, but you also do pay for convenience. So as you can see, in comparison to my hand size, which I'd say it's fairly average, it's not a huge battery, but it's not small either. It weighs about 1.5 pounds, so when you're lugging this around, it's not the heaviest thing, but it's definitely something you can probably feel in your backpack. The outer shell of the battery is made of aluminum, so it's definitely a lot more durable than plastic. However, the top and uh, the left and right side, sorry, are made of plastic with a uh, very nice satin silver finish on top of it as well to match the aluminum. There aren't any fans or anything like that, but the battery does get hot when you're charging your map up, which isn't, you know, too surprising considering this is a 100 watt hour battery. Um, in terms of the temperature, or, you know, does it get really hot? It will get really warm, but not as much as, you know, when you're running your map up for a long time. So it does get noticeably warm, but nothing, you know, to fear that's going to catch on fire or you know start burning your hand so that's definitely not uh, something not to worry about with this particular battery taking a closer look at the ports there's four main ports here you have two 12 watt usb ports and believe it or not you can actually charge two ipads and your macbook at the same time or your iPhone. There's a DC in and DC out port. The DC out obviously is going to be charging your MacBook, DC in to charge the uh, battery itself. One of the most highlighted features of the battery is the OLED display, which just turned off on me, but it does remain on all the time when you are actually charging your MacBook. The cool thing about the display, it's o OLED, so it's very easy to read, energy efficient, so it's not going to take up a lot of power, and definitely a lot more useful than a simple battery meter. As you can see from the display, the status right now, it's at 99%. Um, right now it's idle because it's not plugged into anything. And the current temperature on the actual battery is 18 degrees. So yes, there's actually a temperature reader on the battery itself. The highest I've seen go up to is I think it was 41 degrees Celsius. It's not crazy hot, but obviously pushing it. But again, it's nothing uh, any different than say when you're running your MacBook for a long time. If you hit the button on the side here, you can actually uh, tell how long um, the battery can remain on standby, which looks like is 621 hours. If you hit that button when you're charging your MacBook, it'll actually tell you how long the battery will last while it's charging your MacBook. So that's a pretty cool nifty feature. It gives you more information than a standard uh, battery status indicator and definitely uh, very useful in terms of using a larger battery like this. All right, so here's a quick demonstration with my 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro here. We have the MagSafe cable attached to the battery. Just plug it in. And as you guys can see, it's charging my MacBook. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also charge two additional iDevices, such as your iPhone or iPad. So here we have my iPhone 6, plug it in, and it starts charging that as well along with the MacBook. 
Overall guys, the first impressions on the Hyperjuice 2 from Sanho is very positive. It's a very high-tech battery and also one of the first batteries to actually give you a good amount of uh, extra hours on top of your MacBook, as well as an exterior design that matches really well with the MacBook Pros. In terms of any cons or things I like about the battery itself, as I mentioned earlier, the MagSafe uh, cable that connects your MacBook to the battery is separate, which is a little bit unfortunate. And of course, you guys can check out the different packages that includes this cable in, in the description below there. And the other thing is, I kind of wish the company included some sort of pouch or carrying case for the battery, which they don't include. Yes, it's made of metal, but you know, it's still a pretty big battery with uh, high tech and delicate parts inside. So if you drop it, it's probably not going to end well. So I actually picked this thing up here. It's an uh, in-case sleeve, which is actually designed for the iPad mini here. Amazingly, the Hyperjuice battery is actually the same size, at least on the front here of the iPad mini, except for the thickness, obviously, and fits nice and snug in the sleeve. So for those of you who purchase this and really wants a case, you can definitely pick up the in-case uh, neoprene sleeve that, although works for the iPad mini, does also work for the Hyperjuice battery as well. In conclusion, guys, I definitely recommend the Hyperjuice 2 battery from Sanho. It works as advertised, offers a lot of high-tech features, and one of the few batteries out on the market right now that actually gives you a full charge in a MacBook, or at least a few extra additional hours on top of that for using your MacBook on the go. It's definitely a must-have accessory for those of you trialers out there. However, at a price point of $299 retail, plus the additional cost of the MagSafe cable on top of that, plus a pouch if you plan on getting one, it does bring the price point up a bit more than you expect. Thus, it's definitely an extra expense for those of you who want that extra convenience of carrying back a power for your MacBook. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's my quick in-depth review of the Hyperjuice 2 from Sanho. As always, I'd like to thank Sanho for shooting this out for review. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you all next video.